What's good? It's your boy CJ Goodfellow back with the Boxing Clinic. Good morning. It looks like the three UCLA players, um, Cody Riley, Jalen Hill, and LiAngelo Ball, a big brawler, Brandon LeVar Ball, you know, have been placed on a flight back to the United States. Um, they have been cleared, and a deal, I guess, has been, been, uh, have been uh, made. And, um, you know, they cleared all the charges. They're back on the plane back to L.A., and um you know it you know I'm happy for them man um you know a lot of the people in that in their position you know that that didn't have the the you know most of the fame of being a college athlete um when they got out that situation like that you know Donald Trump put in put in a word for them to help them come back home and you know LeVar Ball said he wasn't concerned it was just a small matter and um he must have been behind the deal trying to get his son and his teammates out of that sticky situation mm-hmm. I still believe that um, that um, one of them guys was probably shoplifting. I'm not sure. I'm just saying allegedly. And the other ones didn't want to knock, knock the other one of them out um, because it just don't make any sense for uh, a guy like Leangelo Ball, whose brother's in the NBA and drives or whatever Maserati and his brother drives a Ferrari, his younger brother Lamelo Ball. It don't make any sense, you know, for him to be stealing. So I think you know one of the other guys or. Possibly could have been him, but still, and they didn't want to knock each other out. Um, party with some money, um, exchange to let them go back home. Um, but you know, they got clear. They back home, and I don't think any of these guys are going to be visiting China anytime soon. You dig? So, um, you know, um, you know, they got a home opener. Uh, I think Wednesday night versus Central Arkansas, and it's unclear if they're going to play. I know they've been detained in that Chinese hotel. Um, for days now, and I know they probably stressed, not wanting to eat, not knowing what's going to happen, but it's a valuable lesson, you know, if you did or didn't do it, don't put yourself in positions, in position to, to be, you know, to be like that, you know, hopefully they will live and they learn from this experience and they go on and take this and, and don't do any you know, dumb stuff like this if they really did do it, because, um, you know, we know athletes think they're above the law, and then when they got certain talents in high school or some notoriety, they get away with a lot in their high school, and they think that it carries on to the real world until you make that vital mistake. And, um, you know, you really, you know, there's no more slaps on the hand. It's real handcuffs and real issues and, you know, doing real time. So, you know, privileged athletes, you know, this is not a new story, but going over to China to shoplift or, you know, be alleged to shoplifting, if they did do it, hopefully they won't do it again. And, you know, hopefully they know that they're not above the law internationally or in the United States. And hopefully they, they get it right after this and they go home and um, live their life and, you know, try to make their dream and become the best basketball player they can. We out.